Hi, I'm Eric Voss, and Game of Thrones final season has revealed its first official look. An HBO countdown trailer showed lots of footage from last season, but included this new shot of Jon Snow and Sansa Stark hugging it out. Sure, it's only like three seconds, but that's plenty for a junkie like me. Just think, at uh, 24 frames per second, that's about uh, 72 whole still images to zoom and enhance on. Plus the hundreds of pages of subtext that Kit Harington and Sophie Turner must have kept in mind for these facial tics. There's a lot to milk here, so pull up a stool, grab some dry cereal. Uh, this metaphor got kind of gross. Let's talk about this footage. Spoiler warning in case I get anything too right about season 8. Okay, so in this shot we can see Jon Snow clearly in Winterfell embracing Sansa Stark. Now, when we last saw Jon at the end of season 7, he was on a boat returning to Winterfell from that summit with Cersei and Danny and all the other key players in King's Landing. And let's not forget, boat sex with his aunt. Really regretting that uh, milk reference right about now. Meanwhile, Sansa had just solidified her position in power at Winterfell. After a season of waffling under the influence of Peter Baelish and the surprise return of her siblings, Bran and Arya, Sansa decisively cut ties with Littlefinger and restored the ties within the Stark family. And remember, two people who know the truth about Jon and Danny's real family tree relationship with each other are also currently in Winterfell, Bran and Samwell Tarly. The finale ended with them comparing notes and realizing the truth about Jon's parents, Rhaegar and Lyanna. So all of this context is baked into this embrace between Jon and Sansa. I'm assuming this will be in the first episode of season 8. And it kind of evokes that memorable reunion embrace between Sansa and Jon at Castle Black in season 6. But by comparison, this hug is a lot colder. Look closely at Sansa's eyes. They dart over to someone else off camera, shooting what looks to me like a pretty frosty glare. Ooh. So who is Sansa looking at? Well, it could be Daenerys, who would probably be joining Jon in this moment. And we know Sansa publicly discouraged Jon from going to meet Danny, distrusting the Dragon Queen as the same kind of lunatic her father was. Have you forgotten what happened to our grandfather? The Mad King invited him to King's Landing and roasted him alive. She is here to reclaim the Iron Throne and the Seven Kingdoms. The North is one of those Seven Kingdoms. This isn't an invitation, it's a trap. It's a trap! Just imagine how icy Sansa is gonna feel if Jon walks into Winterfell holding Daenerys' hand. And how much Bran and Sam will puke. Good thing Sam got that experience cleaning up messes in the Citadel. Now, some watchers have said that Jon's hair in the shot might be braided into two braids, which would match Danny's jahawk. I guess that would be exactly what a guy would do when he, you know, brings home his unwanted girlfriend to meet the family. Uh, hey fam, this is my son in stars, and she eats horse hearts, and we braided our hair together to be like those avatar things. She's my what? But I don't think Jon's hair is braided here, it's just a trick of the light. Looks a little wet and pulled back in his standard bun that we've seen before. Now, it's also possible that Sansa's looking at Arya here. The reunion between Jon and Arya has been waited for for years. Perhaps the final major character reunion that this story is held out on. Jon and Arya have only shared one scene together, way back in the second episode of the series, back when they were both babies. It was a pivotal goodbye between the two black sheep of the Stark family, during which Jon gifted her her sword, Needle. Both characters left that moment to pursue wide-ranging journeys that fundamentally changed them. So to see these two protagonists face each other again is going to present a pretty interesting dynamic. Will Jon distrust Arya as a vengeance-obsessed rogue threatening to destabilize his precarious but necessary alliance with his former foes? Will Arya distrust Jon for bringing this Targaryen interloper into their home, for bending the knee to a dragon rider, much like their ancestor Torrin Stark did to Jon and Danny's ancestor Aegon the Conqueror? And uh, speaking of dragons, that could also be, of course, what Sansa's looking at here. This would be the first time Sansa or anyone in Winterfell would have laid eyes on dragons, and Drogon and Rhaegal would certainly present a pretty spectacular sight. Though I wouldn't describe Sansa's look here as awe or fear. My best guess for her internal monologue in this moment is, you smell Dothraki, brother. Or maybe, I can't believe I'm hugging someone who trusted Cersei Lannister. And yeah, those eyes might also be pointed at Tyrion Lannister, her once husband, a man she must have some pretty complicated feelings for. Interestingly, her stare here reminds me a lot of that final shot of Tyrion in season seven, when he gave a similar look of concern as he realized the developments in Jon and Danny's relationship. I can imagine some nonverbal moment between Sansa and Tyrion in this scene, as both of these cunning political tacticians share empathy for each other, for both having to play second fiddle to their more impulsive rulers. But the question I have for you is who do you think Sansa is looking at here? Comment down below with your thoughts and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at EA Voss for some stuff I'm working on that I think you guys will really enjoy. You know, lately I've been focused a lot on Marvel stuff, but I'm just as big a fan for Game of Thrones and Star Wars and everything else. So stay tuned for more updates there. Like this video, share it around, subscribe to New Rockstars where we can
can stretch three seconds of Game of Thrones footage into something that'll keep you watching for a hundred times the length of that. Magic! <laughs>